In this episode, we head out from Fraser Island, the world's largest sand island, which is located off Queensland, Australia. Launching the boat at Tin Cam Bay, we make our way out in calm conditions and cross the notorious Wide Bay Bar, which is a passage of water separating Fraser Island from the mainland of Australia. After carefully waiting for a break in the rolling waves, we make our way out the bar and head wide in search of the holy grail of reef fish, the mighty Red Emperor. It wasn't long before the action started. Okay, we'll go back to watching Greg. This is my size fish, just school fish. One of the first good red spots we've come to. Not a lot of fish on it, but there's enough there to get a four-way hook up. Brett's is a better one. It's about yeah, Brett's got the best. This one's not a real big one. That's what red fishing's all about. All way hookups. Can't beat it. Unless you've got five people on board and there's five way hookups. Or six. <laughs> Put it down the water, here he comes. Light coloured one, is he? The bubbles come out of it. Baratrauma. You're uh, you're out of your fish too, there, uh, Terry. Beautiful red. Your hooks are just on the ground. Lovely red. It's about probably six, seven kilos. Perfect eating size. Typical school size fish. Took a squid head that one. Some ganged hooks. How good's that? First proper red spot we've come to and to produce the goods. Full way hook up, mate. Beautiful. Yeah. Yep. Good drop boys. Full yeah. way hook up. The feed? Beautiful. Nice eating size ones. Already got the bigger one, but probably eight or nine. Well done lads, go back and do it again. Waterwolf camera down, big squid. Squid head. So just put the waterwolf camera on, attach it in connection with my line just above and pat an oster rig. Got a big squid head on there. We'll drop it down amongst us. Got a few school size reds, so maybe there's a big one amongst it. See a few on the sound of this. Alright, getting a few bites there, I'm just gonna let it go. Hopefully that camera's capturing whatever's chewing on my bait right now. I reckon there's Hussa. Hussa. There's a red. Just gonna let him chew. And chew. Oh yep. So hopefully just caught that on the camera. Drift, drifted a fair way back off the reef then. Just kept letting line out. And then uh, little bites, little bites. And then a red's grabbed it. Hopefully that's shown on the camera, him coming in. Grabbing that bait. Not a big fish, but still happy to get a red on camera eating the baits. When Red Emperor reach around 10 metres before the surface, you'll notice the air bubbles start to expel from the fish, which is an effect known as barotrauma. This is where the gases inside the fish's swim bladder expands due to the decreasing pressure of the fish being pulled up from the deeper water. Red Emperor have a unique way of being able to self-vent through the anus once the air pressure builds to a certain level. Beautiful, lovely fish. A 10 kilo fish that one. 
go. Beautiful Fraser Island Red. Not a massive one, but that size and upwards, I reckon they're a spectacular fish. He's probably about the nine kilo sort of mark. And uh, hopefully, I've had him on camera eating the bait right in front of it. It's a couple of fish now I've caught doing that. It's so cool to watch. Can't wait to see that footage. It should be epic. Just pulled up on a little rock about a one and a half metres high. Very, very tiny. It does have some bigger fish sitting on it. Just got the boys to drop down and have a quick fish before we move on. Sometimes it does pay just to make sure you're checking those bigger bigger fish you do see on the sound around those small rocks. So I can identify them on the sound of the good size. The boys to drop down. Let's see how we go. That's pretty. There we go. Nice fish. Get a fish to get this over, but I'll have a go at it. Look at that. Watch those hooks. Hang on, Nice fish. I might just oh, unhook him there, Brett, and then I'm ready. And mine is mine put up? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just load up. Unfortunately, we've got a bit of a tangle. It's cleaned up a couple of lines here. See, there's a husser on one of the other hooks. Try to get the hooks out of him. Okay. And do this tangle. There we go, we just come to a new spot, Rock Fraser. Uh, it's our probably the second or third mark we've come across uh, that's got fish on it. First drop. Brett's nailed this nice red. What's that about? Probably nine or ten, mate. Yeah, yeah. Nine, nice fish, give it to him. End up, we end up with a bit of a mass tangle. It's gone around all our lines, so most of us did feel. A bit of a thump from a red chewing on the boat, so there might be a few more there. We'll go back, give it another crack. Well done, mate. Beautiful. Another beautiful fish. Nice one, Show them my fish. Yeah, where's <laughs> Foxy's? And that's what I caught. There's Foxy's. Good on you, Foxy. No Pulled a bit of drag. No wonder, we got, <laughs> no wonder we got tangled, Foxy. Yeah, mine went around yours. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> right. We've got Master Chef ready on board, cooking up some chicken kebabs. It'll go down well, mate. Okay, you you deserve one after that, mate. Yeah, have Thanks a, crack, a lot after that big hustle. Yeah. Right there. <laughs> <laughs> well done, mate. Keep your strength up for those yeah. big hustle. All right. Just hit bottom myself. Oh yeah, there's a fish bot starting to chew on the boat. Oh, there's a, there's a bit of fish. Just gonna give him a bit of line. Doesn't feel like a big fish. It feels like a red, but it's not a real big one. Not a real big fish. It's a small red one. Bad chewing. Ooh, that felt a bit better. Ooh. If we watch that in slow motion, a good sized red comes in pretty aggressively and inhales the bait. After a couple of seconds, the fish feels a bit of tension on the bait and it instantly spits it back out. Unfortunately, that fish never came back, but 20 seconds later, a smaller red moves in and gets hooked. Just feeding a bit of line out in that current. Right for a bigger, ooh, there's a bigger fish. Because that is a better fish. A better one? Yep. <laughs> At 
Small red. Little, little red. Little red. School red. Having troubles with the Husser and Venus Tuskish into the baits. Fed this guy a fair bit of line. Be interesting to see the, the underwater camera that I've had with the line there, see that whether it's captured it, come along and eat that bait, or how long he's been there for. Look at the markings on those small fish, absolutely beautiful. Very pretty in the face. Look at that. No eyeball looking around at you. Absolutely beautiful. Back. Green bait. Come on, Foxy, you can do it. <laughs> it's just a pup. Just a pup, mate. Yep. Yeah. Feel alright, Dave? Yeah, he's okay, one. It's better than I've been getting. Is it red? Yeah, it's a nice red. Oh, he's a good one. He's a nice one. Good work, Foxy. You got him well hooked. Okay, there's the fish I just got. I got him out from under a, a, um, a ledge. It's a real um, snaggy one. I just lost gear on it and Greg hooked a bigger one. He couldn't get his out from under there. It, it ran him straight back under. But um, I was lucky. Work, Foxy. What have we got here, Foxy? Is that a cod? Must be black spot, eh? Yeah. There you go. We said it was ready to cut, and bam. Yep. Oh, well, we're chasing it, Hey? Hi. You waste the bait on that for me. <laughs> oh, at least it's something. You got it out of the way anyway. Yeah. Just anchored up for the night. Comes to some reefy ground. Foxy's picked up a uh, black spot cod. I've dropped down and uh, hooked something pretty jerky. I'm not actually sure exactly what this is. It feels a bit weird. Soon find out. No, oh, that's a red. It's a red. Didn't feel like one, eh? Another nice red. Happy days. Very good. Very similar size to the ones we got in Savo. That school size fish. That's not bad. First first drop on the on the pick. Beautiful red. How's it feel? What's going on here, Brady? Oh. I was looking at your rod and it started bouncing, Greg, so I thought I'd grab it. Skipper's walked away and left it in the old rod near the rod holder and he's uh, hooked up. Thanks for the help, mate. No worries, mate. That nice red. <laughs> That's a cracking red. <laughs> well, do we, do we claim it as yours oh, since it was mate. the rod holder? It was Rodney's. Yeah, I think Rodney Rodney's got this fish, one. Rodney's fish, I think. Um, yeah, I thought what different they were this yeah, afternoon, eh? A bit yeah, weird. really lethargic. The one mm. I got earlier just didn't pull much line. It was no. a bit jerky, but yours was a wet sock. Yeah. There's a nice anyway, fish. We'll take that. Beautiful. Number 10 for the mm. afternoon. Beautiful. Oh, wow. What's going on over here, Foxy? I'm after a wet sock. <laughs> Put it in the rod holder, mate. Yeah, I'll have to. Grab another bag of ice and throw it over there. How's that for epic conditions? Beautiful sunrise, glassed out seas. Not a bad day to be alive. How's it going over here, Cook? Yeah, good. Bacon good. and eggs. Bacon and cheese, Sangers, mate. Yeah, mate. Look, you know. Good work. Foxy's hard at work. Trying to deplete the hustle population. Feeding them up. They'll be nice fat ones next time we come here. <laughs> <laughs> no shortage of them. Uh. Yeah. Isn't that? Yeah. Nice. Good fish. Fill your line up around mine. Has Terry got one? Yep. I reckon I'm about to get one too. But I can feel someone's line. I 
Beautiful. Nice fish. Oh yeah, got a ten. Bigger than ten, actually. Oh, nice fish. What's that beautiful Fraser Red? First fish of the morning, or proper fish of the morning, anyway. Pass her around, driving us nuts. It's a cracker fish, probably in the ten to eleven. Little rock, we end up with a big tangle, unfortunately. Again, had a lot of tangles this weekend. Beautiful. Good fish, Dad. Not wanting to catch any more red emperor, we headed out into some deeper water in search of some beautiful pearl perch and bar cod. It didn't take long to find what we were looking for. Three pearls. Three big ones. Oh, yeah. Look at that. One. Good ones too. One's a bar cod, I think. Oh. Yep. Beautiful, boys. Nice pearly. Beautiful. It's gonna break off. Right. We'll have to reverse and pick that bar cord up in a moment. Yeah. Beautiful. Size fish that one? Yeah. Small legal. Yeah. And the old float and just bang reverse. Yep. Yeah. Fishing battery, eh? Look. Yeah. Back coming up. Larry? Barotrauma. You ever want one for eating, that's the size you want. Beautiful. Boys have got another one over the other side. A pearly and a, and a bigger bar cut. Hold him up. Nice pearl. Beautiful. It's getting a little bit big, we don't want it much bigger than that. Here we go. No. This is going to be a fair size one too. Oh yeah. Sure is. Yeah, they're ripping. Big heavy weight. Uh, heavy weight. Hang on. Head shakes, huh? Where are you there? Alright, Foxy. What do you want to do? Photo? I'll film it quickly. Photo. Nice slime ball, Foxy. Yep. Nice coloured barry. Got nice bars down. Didn't pop his eyes or anything. Yeah. Got the coloration on that one. Mmm. Huh? Yeah. Really bright stripes on him, eh? Let's let some line out. Oh, it's a barry, that one. Just slow it down. Yeah. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go on. Yep. Good. All right. Kidding me? Where's the net? Freaking massive pearlies. You're kidding me. <laughs> hey, hey, what are you doing with my fish? Hey, 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 hey. Good Good one, back, go. The size of that pearl. 
Sorry, Fox, you only got two, mate. Two? You only Have got a two. go at that. Sorry, mate. They are monsters. There we go. Beautiful little Comet Groper. On the Mustard Wingman jig, 200 gram. Beautiful eating fish. Really white flesh. We often get them in amongst the pearlies in that sort of 110 to 150 metres. And Brett got absolutely some massive pearlies. We'll show you in a tick. Two nice pearlies, Greg. They are crackers. 70 centimetre. Probably very close to 5 kg, those ones. Absolute rip snorters. How good's that? That eye. Size that eye. Big bucket. What are you talking about you? It must be, eh? <laughs> Big bucket now, Sorry, mate, I meant the fish. Oh. <laughs> How good. One break, and I've got one on as well. How big is it, Foxy? Oh, bring him smaller. up. I'll turn it on. Yep, bring, bring him, him up. up. What have we got over here? Look at this. Another big pearl. How's that for a big comet? Look at that. Cracking comments. Turn it on for us now. Look at that. Had a bit of a drought here for a couple of hours, but. Giddy up. Nothing, nothing but quality on yep. that drift. Good way of breaking the drought. Yeah. Beautiful fish, those comments, aren't they? Mmm, they're different. Yeah. Hold well on, boys. So I've just had that one drop out a bit wider here and um, picked up some absolute cracking pearlies. That big comet. Just throwing the biggest pearly on the on the brag mat. 72 centimetres, that one? Just just on 72, just a fraction of that. Beautiful fish. Go, Look at that. <laughs> good work, mate. Thank you. How good's that? Let's go do it again. You ripper. How you going there, Foxy? I'm waiting to throw these in the esky and get down again. <laughs> Oops. Watch this. Good. That's how you do it, Foxy. Nice yep. and easy. Mm -hmm. on. And then you can hit all those. Yeah. That. Yeah. Oh, mate. Look at that. Beautiful. Look at that pearl bone. That's huge. Length of your finger. How yeah, good. Look at that blue, and greens, purples. What a lovely fish. That pearl bone, that one's huge. Good cracker, eh? Okay, let him go, Brett. Right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Name your fish, mate. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get a bit of head shake. It's a parrot, is it? More parrot. The dodgery. There you go, Venus. That's a good one. Oh, That's yeah. a fair chunk of one. Nice one. Look at yeah. that. Nice Venus tusky, Brady. What do you got there, Foxy? Super Foxy. Oh, there we go. Oh, right. Got one. Nice red throat. There you go. Over here, Foxy. More. It's exactly what we came to this rock for. It's a nice zipper, mate. Yep. Bit of a variety, eh? Beautiful, he's a cracking red throat. Quality fish. Look at that, beautiful. There's some bread and butter species right there, boys. One little rock I got in this area off Double Island, at least to the bar, and it has a few of these guys on it. So we thought we'd come here and bam. Nice way, he's a good one, Foxy. Beautiful red throat. Look at that colour in that fish. Yeah, the red. Oh, magnificent. That is awesome. And that is a cracking Venus, mate. Look at that. Beautiful.
Good work, boys. We're not chasing reds or uh, pearlies anymore, so a couple of these fellas. Beautiful foxy, little Japanese sea brim. They're very similar to the iodine, but they don't have the patch up here. They do have some nice coloration, and the tail's a dead giveaway. They've got the rounded flanks on the tail. That's the dead giveaway. That is a Japanese sea brim. That beautiful purple coming out in that fish. That looks absolutely stunning. Top eating. Probably the whitest flesh you'll ever see in a fish too, Foxy. They're top eating. Yep. He's in. Oh. Oh, Mr. Float line over here. Huh? Mm. What do you got there, mate? Right. Come on, you yeah, got a name, it's haven't right. we? It's buddy. It's, um, it's giving you a bit. <laughs> yep. It's not a bad one either. Big spango. Yeah. Yep. There you go, you grab him, mate. Get him over for a... Thanks, mate. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> You've got your fair share of them looking at yeah, the yeah. food on them. Hey. <laughs> That's what Greg bought you here for to catch these. <laughs> Nailed it. Get me out in the sun, mate. Spang Lampra. <clears throat> Big leather boot. <laughs> Bet you're happy with that, Brett. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> it's the best spang that I've caught today. <laughs> Very good, mate. The old float line does the trick yeah, on them, doesn't it? I like love these. it. Yeah. Might let this one go. Yeah, let's let him go, mate. Right? We don't need him. That is a dead set horse. Yeah, that's what we come to get, Greg. Well done, Brady. That is a monster, mate. Catch that, of that's the a day. trophy fish. Catch of the day. How many do we catch that size? <laughs> None. No, hardly ever. Mate, he's beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. Sorry, buddy. Hopefully, I'll see you again in 10 years' time, buddy. Good work, mate. That's a cracker. Trophy fish. Whew, like it. Congratulations. Thanks, mate. Thank Congratulations. <laughs> So we're back in, back at Tin Can Bay. This is obviously where we leave from to go out through the Wide Bay Bar. The fish area is off Double Island Point, east of the bar and up along Fraser. So uh, this trip we covered around 352 kilometres I think we ended up doing. Um, fair distance but not too bad. We, we didn't end up doing a heap of running around. Uh, we found pretty good fish where we needed to. Caught some good reds. Um, all went to plan, caught reds yesterday afternoon, a few last night, another couple this morning and then chased uh, some pearl perch and bar cod out and a little bit deeper so it all went to plan come back in a little bit closer because we had enough of those species we chased some venus tusk fish uh, red throat amper and a few other bits and pieces so great trip couldn't ask for any more than that and uh, we'll write that one off as a success hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you next time <laughs>